If there was a video that acted as sort of a concise handbook that gave you everything you needed to achieve success, then this would be it. One of those videos that you can return to time and time and time again to get a refresher on what you actually need to do to achieve your goals. So out of all of the hours you spend entertaining yourself online today, make this thing the one thing you need to do to actually achieve your goals. So I've got six lessons for you. And lesson number one is to recognize possibility. And what that means is that what you want in terms of success has been done. Another human being has done it. If you want to be a millionaire, financially free, or achieve six figures in income, that's been done before. And so it's actually possible. And you should find a deep-rooted motivation and inspiration in the understanding that what you're trying to achieve is actually accomplishable. This really came true to me when I was in Sweden, I was in Stockholm, sat at some random lake, and I wanted to be worth tens of millions of dollars, which I fortunately now can say I am. And I looked across the lake, and across the lake were three buildings. And I did the math and I thought, there's three apartment buildings there, they're probably worth about 10 million euros. And that just demonstrated to me this ridiculous abundance, where I was like, just in some random corner of Europe in some random city, here's 10 million euros worth of buildings. So I invite you right now, go and look outside your window, look at the cars parked on the street, look at the houses. You will find, if you go for a one hour walk in an urban area, probably billions and billions of dollars worth of things. So what you're asking for is not a lot, and it's actually really accomplishable and really achievable. So the second lesson for you is you want to avoid putting success on a pedestal because what you chase runs away. So you don't want to have dreams and goals. You don't want to have these things that you worship and bow down to. No, the secret is to have standards. It's very, very, very rare that you get what you want, but it's very, very, very common that you get what you tolerate. And so what you want to do is turn success into this thing that you would just feel disgusted with yourself if you didn't have. We never breach our standards, but we never achieve our goals. And so if you want to achieve a goal, you have to make it a standard. In the same way that you wouldn't just eat rotten chicken off the floor, not having success is just something that you won't tolerate. It's a standard. To not have it should feel absolutely disgusting to you. So stop seeing it as this almighty, all holy being that is out of your reach and start seeing it as something that you just can't live without. Because until you make that switch, you're always going to be grasping. So the third lesson, and this is going to be a hard one for you to hear, but it's all your fault. Where you are right now in your life is your fault. It's your doing. You might not think that, but until you're willing to take full, total, absolute responsibility for your situation, you're never going to be in control to make a change. So even if it's not your fault, you need to see it as if it is. Now, imagine that you joined a video game and you were a level three noob. You knew nothing about the video game. You wouldn't go and try and slay a level 100 dragon out of the gate. No, you'd level yourself up first. Because understand, we don't achieve goals, we achieve characters. We achieve identity, senses of self that solidify and manifest the thing we want. So stop trying to chase this outcome and start trying to chase the person you have to become. Become that person and the goal will happen. Don't try and slay a level 100 dragon at level three. It's like trying to become a millionaire when you know nothing about money. It doesn't work. You're the problem. You have to fix yourself first. So the fourth lesson that sort of feeds on from number three is understanding that if you need to evolve and change, you need to start by removing behaviors, not adding them. Everyone is so caught up in adding good habits and improving their lives by adding things. But the first step is to remove things. There's four types of things you need to remove. The first one is limiting belief systems. Perhaps you believe that you can only become successful and rich if you're talented or if you're born with it or come from a rich family. If you believe that, you're never going to become successful, so you need to remove these limiting beliefs. The second thing is toxic people. It's finding the people in your life that simply just don't serve you and actually try to hold you back and bring you down and removing them. The third thing is sedatives. That's definitely three, yep. The third thing is sedatives. So things that basically slow you down. I'm talking drugs, I'm talking alcohol, I'm talking bread at lunchtime, you know, things that basically just make you sleepy and tired. How can you possibly be sharp if you're doing those things? You're not going to become successful with them, so remove them. And then the fourth thing are stimulants. So things that are really dopaminergically stimulating that basically hijack your limbic system to make you feel insane instant gratification. I'm talking short form content. I'm talking, you know, class A drugs, even alcohol to a degree as well. I'm talking junk food. I'm talking all these things that you know you shouldn't do that stimulate your brain. You have to remove them. So those four things, if you get rid of them, massively increase your chances of success. So lesson number five for you is understanding that every single behavior, action and decision counts. Everything you do every day, every moment is weighed into a good or a bad behavior. And what this basically means is that you want to ask yourself when you do anything, anything, whether it's watching this YouTube video, going to bed on time, making a cold call, building a website, literally anything you do, 
at any time ever, you need to ask yourself the question, does this help me achieve my goal? Or does this push me away from my goal? Because actions can binarily be put into one of those two categories. And all you have to do for a long period of time is good actions, which are things that move you towards your goal and you will become successful. Think of it like this, make that question your North Star and you'll be fine. So lesson number six is pretty straightforward and it's a bit of a heavy hitter. So. It's about preparation, not achievement. True pain manifests when the universe presents you with an opportunity or a crisis that you did not have the character to prepare for. And what this means is that in your life, you're going to have opportunities and you're going to have crises, if that's even a word. And what that means is that good things and bad things are gonna happen. And if you're not the man that you could have been and you're not prepared for them when they happen, my God, are you gonna suffer? If there's a civil war and you need to get out of the country, but you haven't got the money to do it because you didn't work when you were 18, 19, 20, God help you. If you meet your potential future wife who is perfect in every single regard, but she's not interested in you because you're not a man of value and you didn't work and you haven't got anything, then you're gonna really suffer. Or maybe a member of your family dies and it falls on you to become financially responsible, but you can't because you didn't work. So just work with the understanding that this success, this achievement, it doesn't matter. The goal, the dream, none of it matters. What matters is being prepared and ready for something very, very, very bad or something very, very, very good. Because if you're not that guy by the time that that thing rolls around, boy, oh boy, are you gonna feel some pain and some suffering and so will your family, so get it done.